Hello dear listeners, good morning, namaskar and jajalapa. It's me, Liladhar Adhikari with grade 9 English class. For half an hour, I'll have been working with you and this program is airing through the radio waves of New FM 106.6 MHz, which is presented by Anak Media for Nepal Bhasa Academy situated in Kirtipur. The organizer of this radio class is Kirtipur Municipality to meet the immediate needs of the students who do not have the school-going situation because of the outbreak of worldwide COVID-19 pandemic. Dear students, have you written for or against the issue that you were assigned by me last week? What was the issue? Right. What to save life or economy in the corona crisis? Good job. You have done it and submitted to your subject teacher for correction and feedback. Dear, you can share or exchange your assignments among the friends and learn more. Thus, you can grow collaboratively and cooperatively. You know, not always competition. Not always competition. Today, we'll read a Panchatantra story, The Trick of the Fox. The Trick of the Fox. I know you've been reading and hearing a number of such stories since your childhood days. In the stories from Panchatantra, the characters are often animals. Are you familiar with the story of the blue colored fox? All know the story of the hare and the lion. The story of the king and his servant monkey is really humorous and full of lesson. Actually, all the Panchatantra stories teach you one or several lessons. Well, before you read the trick of the fox, Note down two questions that you have to answer on completion of reading this story. 1. What was the serious problem of the couple of doves? What was the serious problem of the couple of doves? 2. Why did the guards chase the doves? Why did the guards chase the dogs? Dear students, open your textbook on page number 93 and 94 and read the story silently. Well, let me read it aloud if you don't have your textbook. Listen carefully. The Trick of the Fox Once upon a time, there was a tall people tree on the outskirts of a small village. On this tree, a couple of doves had been living for years. At the bottom of the tree, there also lived a big black snake in a deep hole. Every time the female dove laid her eggs, laid her eggs means produced her eggs, the snake creeped up the tree and ate the egg and the young ones. The snake creeped up crawled up the tree and ate the egg and the baby doves. As a result, the doves were never able to raise their chicks, baby doves. This made them very sad. They didn't know how to get rid of the snake. They didn't know how to save the eggs and the babies. After thinking about the problem seriously, they decided to meet their intimate friend, a clever fox. Then they went to meet their friend. When the fox saw them, she greeted and welcomed them to her house. The doves were very sad, so she inquired. The fox asked, Hello, dear friends, you two seem to be very sad. What's the matter? The root cause of our problem is a black snake. He is after us. 
He eats up our eggs and the young ones. Please help us get rid of this snake, said the female dove to the fox. The fox too was shocked to hear this sad story. She promised to help the doves. She thought for a few minutes and then laid out a plan before the doves. Laid out a plan means gave a plan, presented a plan to, uh, to present the idea before the doves. Listen carefully, said the fox. You know where the richest lady of this town lives. You've also seen her taking a swim in her private swimming pool. You know, while swimming, she always removes all her ornaments, ornaments means jewelry, and keeps them on a tray kept by the side of the pool. While she is busy taking her bath, you two shoop down upon the tray and pick up a diamond necklace from it. Drop it into the serpent's hole serpents, snakes all. The security guards of the woman will come chasing you. After finding the ornament in the serpent's hole, they will first chase the serpent away to save you, to save them from being beaten and then will take the necklace out of the hole. Thus, the serpent will be chased away and you too will be saved from it. It was a very good idea. The doves liked it. They flew to Rajita's home where they saw her taking a swim in a swimming pool. As told by the fox, she had removed her ornaments and kept them in a tray. The doves swooped down upon the tray, picked up an expensive diamond necklace from it and flew towards the snake's hole. The guards ran after the doves, brandishing their sticks. They chased the doves and soon reached that big people tree, where the big black snake lived. They found the diamond necklace lying inside the serpent's hole, snake's hole. Afraid of the snake, they first chased the snake away from the hole. Then. They took out the ornaments and returned home. The snake never returned there. The doves thanked the fox for her help and lived happily ever after in the people tree thereafter. Moral, intelligence always leads to the solution of the problems. Dear students, uh, now the first question that I said previously, what was the serious problem of the dogs? Excellent! The serpent ate their eggs and babies. And the next question, why did the guards chase the dogs? Yes, they chased them because they flew taking the diamond necklace of the richest lady, Rajita. Now, let's go to the exercises that follow the story in the textbook on page number 95. Exercise 1. Enrich your vocabulary. That is, increase the words you know and use. Number 1. Copy the past forms of the verbs from the story and write their present forms. Can you pick up the verbs? Yes. Was, leaped, crept up, were, w-e-r-e, were. The present forms are good. Was, is, leaped, leap, crept up, creep up, were. Are. You can do them quite easily, can't you? Number two, find the meanings of the underlined words in context. The first underlined word is shocked. In the sentence, the fox was shocked to hear this 
sad story. Can you guess the meaning of shocked? Okay. Let me make my own sentence using shocked. He was shocked at the sudden death of his father. Now, can you give the meaning? Right. Badly surprised or startled. The next word is promised. In, she promised to help the dog. Do you want the other sentence? Okay. John promised to stop drinking after he got arrested for drunk driving. You know, Mapase. You guessed nicely. Promised means said shortly or assured. Let me make other sentences for the underlined words and you guess and write their meanings yourself. Okay? Chased away. The jackal was chased away by the dog. Shook down. The owl swooped down to pick up a mouse. Brandishing. Shut up. Shouted the kidnapper. Brandishing the pistol. Shut up. Shouted the kidnapper, brandishing the pistol. Activity number 3. Change the word class of the given words and complete the table. That is to say, write the different forms of a word. For example, quick is an adjective. What is the noun form of quick, dear? Exactly. Quickness. You put the suffix n-e-s-s-ness. And verb, what is the verb? That's it, quicken. You add the suffix en. And adverb, you have got the common sense. We add mostly ly suffix to make an adverb. So, quickly. Dear, you can do the rest ones, can't you? Now, Let's move to exercise 2 in which you read and identify. Number 1. Read the story again and identify who the speaker is. It means who said the following utterances. You have to know here among several characters in the story who took part in conversation. Sure, only the dogs and their friend the fox spoke. So, who said the root cause of our problems is a black snake? Exactly. The female dove said. She said to whom? Yes, to the fox. Hello, dear friends. You two seem to be very sad. What's the matter? Who said it to whom? Yes, the fox said to the couple of doves. Students, was the fox male or female? How can you say? Well, the rest of the things can be done by yourselves. The second activity under exercise, read and identify is ordering the events as they occur in the story. It produces the summary of the story. The sentences or given events are not in correct order. You have to rearrange them logically. Let me read the sentences for you. A. A couple of doves had been living in a peepal tree for years. B. The fox asked what their problem was. C. The doves were upset because the snake had eaten their eggs and chicks. D. The snake never returned there. E. The doves returned home and implemented the plan. F. They went to their friend's house to get help. G. They told everything to the fox. H. The fox presented a plan before the dogs. I. 
at the bottom of the tree there lived a big black snake in a deep hole j the dogs lived happily ever after k the guards chased the snake away my dear students uh, what event happened first in the story you are correct a a couple of doves had been living in a people tree for years and what next the second at the bottom of the tree there lived a black snake in a deep hole and the third yes it see the doves were upset because the snake had eaten their eggs and chicks dear all isn't it interesting i am sure you can solve the others on your own you can rearrange all of the sentences according to the events happened in the story well the other activity we have to do is exercise 3 on page 96 read and answer here you have to answer the questions short answer my dear students read the questions given in your textbook and first try to locate the answers in the story where the answer is for a particular question later on you have to answer either written or oral one let's do some of them together right now Question A Why were the doves upset Dear students can you locate or find the answer of this question in the story Where Yes the second last line of the first paragraph on page number 93 reads this made them very sad upset means sad what made them sad dear this made them very sad who did this make very sad students i just help you to locate the answer you have to write your answers yourselves now b why did they meet their friend who wanted to meet the friend who was the friend what was their purpose to meet the friend in the story where do you guess the answer is that's very clever of you the first paragraph on page 94 contains the answer of this question the female dog expressed their intention to visit their friend the fox now see what did she suggest see see means who yes the fox what is her suggestion to get rid of the problem caused by the black snake where is the answer located good the answer of this question is located in the third paragraph on page 94 keep in mind the words the richest lady ornaments or diamond necklace the hole in the tree now d did the fox's plan work well what happened to the snake in the end dear students how did the doves follow their friend's idea did they get rid of that evil snake finally who chased away the snake where's the answer you are excellent in the second last paragraph on page 94 now e why did the doves drop the jewelry into the hole what was the 
jewelry students yes the diamond necklace of the richest lady rajita number f who followed the dogs why we have already discussed this question g why was the snake chased students what was dropped into its hole its home could the guards take out the necklace if the snake were in the hole number 8 what is the moral of the story what lesson did you learn from this story well students do all the exercises that we discussed in this class and let me give you a skeleton of a panchatantra story the another story i will give you develop it into a readable short story as your homework write down the words or phrases and make an outline are you ready okay write please a king dash you have to separate the two points with dash a king dash defeated six times by his enemies defeated six times by his enemies dash hides in a cave hides in a cave dash sees a spider sees a spider climbing the wall climbing the wall to go to the ceiling of the cave to reach the ceiling of the cave dash fails six times to climb fails six times to climb dash gets success at the seventh attempt gets success at the seventh attempt dash king learns a lesson king learns a lesson dash collects enough courage collects enough courage dash attacks enemies attacks enemies dash succeeds succeeds s u c c e e d s succeeds dash moral you have to mention the moral at the end of your story my dear all that's the end of our class today next week we will do the poem the rivals by james stephens if you try to read it yourself beforehand it will be easier to solve your problems thank you for tuning in stay safe stay healthy